Oke, okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you to the viewers who reach our video and uh, um, watch our channel. So for today, I would like to share with you on how to perform any analysis uh, of the your sample to identify the compound or possible uh, their chromatic uh, sorry their uh, functional uh, group and also the fingerprinting group of your uh, sample using the uh, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy so this is a software we call it omnic okay so we try to open one data okay this is data about uh, different kind of oil from different kind of sample so for example we have the beef sample here we try to open this one okay so in performing the data analysis so when you open a, <coughs> uh, a data from the active IR analysis so you get this kind of uh, spectrum okay so what you should do you have to uh, perform some data pre-processing okay before you analyze uh, the uh, compound or your sample so what you should do you can go to process okay and then generally we go to automatic baseline correction or advanced ATR correction okay <coughs> so in this um, uh, sample when we analyze it we analyze it with ATR um, ATR is an apparatus uh, it's not an apparatus actually it's a uh, uh, features that uh, added to your ATR. ATR means attenuated total reflectance. So generally, uh, with this feature, you don't have to do some uh, or any sample preparation. You just put it your sample in a liquid form or in, or in a solid form on the ATR, and then perform the analysis. Just click the ATR, and you get this uh, result. Okay. So uh, since we are using the ATR correction, and most of ATR sample uh, sorry FTAR uh, software are uh, using the principle from transmission so we need to do a correction okay the ATR uh, ATR produce a uh, result should be corrected uh, to become a transition uh, sorry transmission um, data file okay so we have to do this advanced ATR correction click here Okay, the crystal that we use in the analysis is diamond. That depends on your FTIR that you have in your laboratory. Sometimes, uh, the first time you purchase, maybe you use the germanium, maybe you use the zinc selenide. Okay, generally, if you have a, a germanium crystal, it's suitable for um, a sample which is very dark, which is a black sample, such as you have a, a carbon nanotube. Yeah, and for zinc selenium uh, crystal. Uh, oil sample as well is uh, uh, possible or suitable uh, to be used however I recommend to use diamond because diamond is very hard and it's not easily get uh, scratch okay so uh, my laboratory we purchase this diamond crystal so that's why we uh, maintain uh, with this crystal in this analysis so I just choose the diamond that we use in the crystal of the ATR okay <coughs> So you can see, okay, the they change uh, after the process been done about the correcting uh, correcting of the uh, spectrum, okay, uh, uh, into transmission uh, uh, spectrum. So they change uh, the data from uh, from these uh, features we call it, okay, from transmittance data set, okay. And, uh, they change to absorbance data set okay so the red one is the process one okay and then you have to process next into uh, automatic baseline correction okay and then another one uh, process uh, you can choose automatic smooth okay and then we go back to percentage of transmitters just to inversely uh, change <clears throat> the absorbance uh, spectrum into a percentage transmittance so you just click 
so you will see the red one is the latest one uh, process data so the rest you can delete yeah. so I will delete this one this blue one delete uh, okay okay and then all the absorbent spectrum can be cut as well okay so this is the final uh, result okay so you can see as well uh, on the name of your sample you have the uh, star here uh, numbers of stars indicate like numbers of uh, process step that you uh, put in in your sample analysis okay <coughs> so um, we want to see all this uh, peak from the spectrum is uh, identified okay so you can see here 1743.97 wave number okay so for this compound uh, for this um, peak it's actually characterized a functional group okay or any finger beating group okay and then we can uh, we can see that later so now I want to uh, to ensure that those peaks that appear here uh, be renamed or be identified the wave numbers so you just click find peaks you bring the cursor line here okay and then you can click replace okay and then you can click full scale okay you can see not all of the peaks uh, name or identified the wave number I identified so you can use this one click on this cursor selection tool is it this one I think oh, sorry I it's not the one this one annotation tool click this one then you can point your cursor to the peak then okay it will identify the wave number of the peak okay okay and then just again so make sure okay this one there is one and two pick uh, not identified or even this one so we can add up okay so this one okay it's already done this one and then this one and then okay so this one so you already identify this uh, with number <clears throat> now uh, as we know each of these peak uh, character are uh, character uh, is characterizing the uh, functional group and finger painting group for example generally or previously people will go to um, identify the uh, compound FTIR compound Okay. so generally we have a table to identify eh? spectrum table and chart for example like this one okay so based on absorption and fre or a frequency uh, range yeah this one you can uh, identify or predict the group of your sample for example uh, 3700 to 3584 it belong to OH stretching so we can go to this one 35 to 37 okay there is no peak here meaning that there is no OH stretching generally if you have OH stretching here it's belong to alcohol or sometimes water okay so for example we see here 1746.55 you can check at the table 17 C double bond O stretching okay so they will indicate like there is C double bond O uh, compound yeah that characterize this uh, sample okay this is belong to 174 uh, sorry uh, one this 1746.55 with numbers is belong to C double bond O uh, stretching okay that is the traditional way of identifying the uh, result okay but now we also have a software where this software is equipped with a library so we can identify the library just click analyze and then 
you can click the library setup first okay when you have a, a library setup you click you will see there is a viable search libraries okay it's equipped in this uh, FDIR so I just highlight every each of this library just click here and then you just can click simple click OK oh, sorry click search okay <coughs> so in this case um, if you display okay, I want to modify my display number of library spectra to display maybe like five maybe stop maybe we put three okay so what we have here this is your sample your beef oil and this is the first or the highest match of oil against your sample so this olive oil okay try olive and then sesame oil okay and the rest these are the highest match against your sample so this spectrum are uh, actually this spectra actually uh, uh, suggests to you uh, the library that having the highest match against your sample okay so you will see even though you have an animal uh, origin oil extracted oil however it cannot be differentiated by uh, your library which your library actually are suggesting uh, two or even three uh, possible library which is uh, they are plant origin oils okay however this is i would like I, I just want to emphasize this is another way of how to identify your uh, sample and the compound that you have okay then what else we can do from here we also can do IR spectral interpretation okay okay and then I just unclick here I just one click one by one okay for example remember we are using this uh, table to identify uh, your possible the possible of functional group okay but using the software it's also can identify for you and you don't have to refer to any kind of um, chart so for example if I click here play uh, this their display it shows that you have a small uh, olefins in your sample so you want to know what is olefins okay you can click the infos so they will see that olefin consists of at least one double bond between adjacent uh, carbon atom meaning that you have a double bond a C double bond in your sample what else so I click another one esters so you will see there is a strong esters uh, group in your sample so you want to know what is esters so esters uh, you can click the info and it will indicate you okay esters are belong to C double bond O stretch and C O stretch in your sample. Okay, so you can see one seven four five and one two three five. They are C double bond O stretch at one seven four five and one two three five is uh, characterized of C O stretch. So you can see again, is it correct? Yeah, it's correct. It's like one seven here and then one two here. So it's confirmed. There is uh, there are. Esters in a group in your sample and the last one aliphatic hydrocarbons so they are one two and three three um, parts of aliphatic hydrocarbons identified in your it's not parts actually it's like uh, any indicators that uh, based on these three uh, spectrum sorry these three uh, with numbers you will uh, have a you can predict there is a aliphatic hydrocarbons in your uh, sample so what it looks like uh, or how the compound looks like or the functional group uh, group looks like just click infos okay so aliphatic group are found uh, according to c double uh, ch3 and ch2 stretching absorption okay so anything related CH2 and CH3 uh, there is a possibility of having aliphatic group so generally any kind of oils are having yeah, the same uh, functional group the same features okay 
that's why that's why when we click uh, when we click uh, search yeah your oil uh, animal oil origin uh, origin oil and oil uh, and plant origin oil cannot be differentiated by far because all of them are having the same uh, functional group and the same uh, or similar fingerprinting okay however we can focus or use some uh, statistical tool to confirm this one okay till then we'll we'll uh, discuss again Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.